Hello everybody. Thank you for tuning in. This is Miss Ellis with Mona Mentors. Today we're going to be talking about parental substance use. So what is parental substance use? Parental substance use is where you have a parent that is using a legal substance such as sub like such as marijuana, cocaine, methamphetamine, um, ecstasy, opioids, and there's a situation that has come up where they cannot take care of their children because they're under the influence of drugs. A lot of people debate to where I just smoke weed, I don't do anything else. That puts you at risk as well because it's still a mind-altering substance. Well, it's legal. We can smoke weed in Colorado. We don't have a problem with it. I even sell weed. Yes, you may do that in some states, but under the federal law, it is still a controlled substance. So even though the state laws have already said we're not going to arrest anybody for marijuana, under the federal law, if the feds come in, then you could possibly be arrested and charged um, for possession of marijuana. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Now back to being able to protect your children. I know a lot of youngsters and a lot of elderly people, a lot of mid, middle aged people, everybody is using marijuana. I talked to a lady last week. She said she was selling her home in Texas to move to Colorado so that they can get all the marijuana they needed. I'm pretty sure it probably was for health reasons. But just keep this in mind. Our children are not doing what we say. They're doing what we do. And so, if you choose to use marijuana, make sure that you have a responsible adult that's going to be providing care for your children. Anything could happen when parents are using drugs and they're on a mind-altering, mood-altering substance. There's a lot of children that get injured and then they have to take the kids to the hospital or the emergency room. Guess what the first thing they're going to smell? Marijuana. Guess what the doctors and the nurses are going to do? Call and report CPS because that's actually a sign of neglectful supervision. Another thing, children are literally hurt. They may walk out of the home. The parents just passed out sleeping high. Lots of that happens um, every single day. So keep in mind, every 10 minutes, a child experience child abuse and neglect within the United States of America. Every 10 minutes, someone is becoming involved with children's protective services. And parental substance use rank high on the reasons why children become involved with CPS. So to all the families um, who are using drugs and using alcohol, if you need help and you just can't stop and you want intervention and you want help, then you're welcome to contact any United Way agency or dial 211 and they will refer you to a professional that will be able to help you kick the drug and alcohol. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Stay tuned for more. I enjoyed you guys. Look forward to the next topic. If you want to talk about anything, go ahead and post it in the comments. Go ahead and post in the comments your feedback on how you feel about this particular subject matter. And I look forward to talking to you guys again. Thanks for your time. Miss Mona.